Hey guys, it's Jackie. What up? It's been actually not that long. I filmed the previous video a long time ago and just recently posted it. But I got a comment <laughs> like three months ago um, asking me to do a video on my brows. And right now my brows are not done. They are thin and patchy and I don't like my natural brows. But I'm responding to that video. So here we go. Let's I always do finger guns and I always chastise myself and just let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off my glasses. If I tried to do my brows with my glasses on, it'd be like, where are my brows? Take those off. And I only have three products, um, which I think is pretty good for my routine. It takes probably 20 minutes for me to get ready in the morning, which is nice because I think I look fabulous. I would flip my hair, but it's up in this bun and I don't want to take it down yeah oh look how long this is it's really quite annoying the first product I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer in the color soft brown and the brow definer is the one that's the triangle shape you can see there I'm gonna turn on the ring light so haha -ha. um, no I can't move it over there you can see here it's kind of a triangly shape and what you're going to do with this is line where you want your brows to be and fill in the front part. So I'm going to, I'm not going to be looking at you guys. I'm going to be looking like this so I can see myself so I don't have to, you know, turn over here and do my brows like this, which wouldn't make any sense for you guys. So, oh, I can't see anything. Hold on. I'm going to move this here so I can do it like this. Hey, guys. So the first thing that I do is I take this and I run it along the bottom of my brow where I want the bottom to be in a kind of a straight line all the way out to the end of where I want that um, arch to be and then down in a line down to a little bit, ex I extend mine a little bit because I have quite short brows um, so I extend it a little bit. And then the same thing on the top, I start with where I want the brow to start and go along where my natural hair goes and then down. See how it's kind of lined out? And this way, when I go back in with the next product, I can darken it without having to draw new lines and getting messed up. Then I'm going to take the flat side, so I'm going to take it like this, and brush up at the front of my brow, starting from the bottom, starting from the bottom, no, here, starting from the bottom of my whole team here, sorry, I'll stop. And I'm going to go all the way back to like here, because that's where I want my brow to start getting a little bit darker. So the goal for brows is to have a nice ombre from light from none here to light to dark. I do a little bit of a starker line here because if I don't, it kind of looks like I just have a unibrow. I don't know why. And then I'm going to turn it over and take this little tiny end and create... Did you guys hear my stomach? And to, uh, create little brush, like little hairs. I'm going to do the same thing with this brow, and I'll be right I feel back. like I look completely insane right now. Only half my brows filled in. Uh, so once I've done the, both brows, they're pretty even. This one's a little bit higher, but my resting eyebrow face is kind of like this. So my eyebrows are kind of the same height. I'm going to open up the other end with this little bristly thing. And I'm just going to do with the hair and towards the back. So it makes the makeup a little bit softer and not as, it, does, it makes it look less fake and more like you actually have thick brows. I'm gonna do this to both brows. Just a couple of swipes up and over. Make sure I didn't get makeup anywhere. We're good. See how, oh, I have a notification. See how the brow, the front looks so much more natural? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. This is a dirty brush. Don't judge me. I used it this morning, and I washed it last night. So this is an angled brush. 
it's from like face base it's like something that I, my that I got for Christmas from Walmart whatever uh, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills that's my favorite brand the dip brow pomade also in the color soft brown now I know they're the same color but and in the actual little bottle thing it looks quite light um, but it's quite a bit darker than you would expect and it's so creamy so the simple thing to do is just to get a little bit of product just like that a couple of swipes and then go in here and just film it I'm gonna bring you over here again film in oh you can't see film in like this just at the end just to make it a little more clean and crisp obviously you can just use the pencil um, because it does make for a more um, natural looking brow I like to have a natural-ish brow with a non-natural end so like super stark super clean cut end with kind of a fade in at the beginning I'm gonna finish up this brow and then do the other one so now that the brows are completely filled in, there is just a couple of more steps. I'm not gonna do what I would do for like a glam brow, I guess. Um, this is just what I would do on an everyday basis. So now if you look, if you see here, this side is much darker than here, and it looks kind of uneven. Hold on, I missed a little spot right there. In we go, and look at that! Full, beautiful brows. Make sure you know exactly where the makeup is going to deposit from your brush on your brow, or else you're going to have a problem and you have to wipe away the whole brow and do it again. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer again. Not the pencil part. I'm going to take this little... You don't need this for the little thingy part. <laughs> But I like to have um, this because it's helpful with a lot of things. And this particular product is super creamy and lovely and just awesome. I love Anastasia. Please love me, Anastasia. So I'm just going to take this and kind of blend the darker portions back into the rest of it to make it... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have the plague. I don't have the plague just to make it a little smoother and I go over the whole thing a couple of times so that it looks a little bit more natural obviously this is nowhere near my natural brow you saw in the beginning it kind of looks like a train wreck but whatever and then <laughs> this is the hardest part I can't see my brows because of all these notifications I'm so popular I'm just kidding it's one friend again do the same thing just brush it back and make your brow fleek. Is fleek still a thing people say? I'm not 100% sure. So after that's done, your brows are ombre sufficiently. See how it's just a little bit lighter here than here? Obviously, you could ombre this out till it, till it goes from black all the way to skin color in here. I don't do that because it's not my style. Next product I'm going to go in with is the NARS Brow Gel. That's upside down. Is the NARS Brow, Dra Brow Gel in the color Athens. And so open it. It's kind of old and a little bit crusty, so whatever. When you open it, it's one of those little thingies again. And I think it has too much product. So I spin it around on the top so I can get rid of the product on the inside of the little tubey thing. I, it's not a tube. I don't know what to call it. Let me know in the comments if you know what it's called. <laughs> um, so we go all the way around until there's not as much product anymore. And now we take this little wand. Wand is a better word than tube. And I don't like to start from the beginning of my brow because sometimes there's so much product on there that your eyebrows are super, super gloopy and you don't want that. If you do get that, take that spool, is it a spoolie thing? Um, from the uh, di um, brow definer again, and just run it through the hairs once, just to kind of declumpify. 
Jesus Christ. Sorry. Sorry, all Christians. I don't mean to take Jesus' name in vain. Well, I mean, I did, but whatever. I never mean to offend anybody in here. Like, whatever. So now that's done, and your brows are set for all day. Look at that. Ooh. Honestly, it makes me feel so much more confident when I put on my eyebrows. It's just... Makes me feel like whole and like my face doesn't have any, doesn't have as many imperfections. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. I did it again. I'm really sorry. It's a problem and I'm working on it. The one thing for me is I wear glasses. So I usually push them up here so there's no point in doing this. But it makes me feel good. That's what makeup should do. It shouldn't hide your features. It should, should accentuate how beautiful you actually are. It should make you feel good whether or not anybody else likes it. That's the moral lesson for today. I'll see you guys later. I'm getting a new palette tomorrow, so I'll do a tutorial on that. Yeah, see ya.